Hello my friend, I'm Reverend Walker. Jesus loves it that you're here for worship and scripture right now and he loves you. This service of blessing is from alphachurch.org and more worship and scriptural help is at our online church. As we're focusing on Jesus' crucifixion during this Lenten season today, let's study our Heavenly Father's miracle of the open graves. Our scripture reading is from Matthew 27 verses 50 through 54. Jesus is on the cross. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and into the holy city and appeared to many. And when the centurion that was with him and those keeping watch over Jesus said, Truly, this man was God's son. God bless the reading and hearing the scripture. Amen. We've already closely delved into the first three miracles, the miracle of darkness, the miracle of the torn veil in the temple, and the miracle of the earthquake or the earth shake. Today's fourth miracle, the miracle of the open graves, happens in conjunction and simultaneously with the earth shake. Jesus' words on the cross cause God's miracle. God's only begotten Son is dying on the cross to give us salvation to redeem us on the cross as he loudly shouts it is finished and gives up his spirit this glorious affirmation shakes the earth and god's power and the joy of victory is such that the resurrection occurs in our savior's life and the rocks split that cover the tombs of the saints and they come out of the tombs and go into the city appearing to families showing themselves in the temple and giving witness to their love and affirmation for jesus the savior of the world Jesus' last breath on earth mixes with the perfume of nard that Mary anointed on his head, and the earth fills with new life and the fresh accomplishment of his purpose to save us, to make a direct way to the Heavenly Father, Abba. Jesus opens the graves and opens hearts with joy. The last words, the victory words, are huge. His last breath. My dad's last breath was the biggest last breath that I'd ever heard him breathe, and Jesus' last breath expanded him in readiness for resurrection. And the saints come out of their graves and go into the holy city while Jesus goes into hell to clear it out completely as new believers are given permission to be with him in paradise. Hell will not prevail against Jesus' church. Jesus opens the graves, in other words, his death destroys the power of death, and death is sin. Christ destroyed sin. He who has no sin paid for humanity the penalty of sin. Jesus who has no sin canceled all the sin's separation from new life in God. Thus, the graves open, and Jesus removes all obstructions to new life. The bodies of the saints that leave their graves are such that similarly Jesus goes through the closed door into the upper room and it's an expression of the victory of Christ. Reference 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Jesus Christ is the true expression of victory. After the cross there are three days and on the third day Jesus is resurrected and the Saints come out of their graves and go and witness to many that our new life in Christ is accomplished on the cross. The saints are revived but not resurrected. And on the third day as it approaches, Jesus' last days on earth aren't accomplished yet and the first Easter is coming but it's not yet. After he's dead three days, Mary and the other women will go to his tomb on Easter Sunday dawn and the see that the stone is rolled away and go inside and the angel will tell them Jesus is not there. Mary will go outside and meet him in the garden and she'll run to the disciples and tell them he is risen. There are 40 days of Jesus' appearances after the resurrection and he'll make appearances to many people and then as he ascends into heaven, he'll give his commissioning words to us. He'll ascend into the Heavenly Father's presence to take his 
assignment on the right hand of God. Many believers, they will gather in Jerusalem and 10 days after the ascension, Pentecost will occur. And that is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit into the church. We see the holiness of the cross and we're drawn to Jesus' holiness because of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. We are living the new life, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ. Use us, empower us, and by your Holy Spirit, give us such guidance that we clearly, clearly move forward and move out to make disciples for Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Go now in peace, my friend, and may God richly bless you. Amen.